Hey everyone. So there's been a version of ML.NET, in fact, release 2.0 uh, came out not too long ago. I'm here in the release notes, uh, but there's also a blog post that details some stuff here. And I'll put both these links in the description if you want to read through all of it. Real quick, let's go to nougat.org here and look at it. And as you can see, uh, version three is already in preview, so you're welcome to check that out. But let's look at the uh, versions here and 2.0 came out two months ago so not too far back there uh, so let's go through and see what all has happened here and this is a point release so should have a good amount of stuff in here uh, some cool stuff in here as well and as you can see the first thing is some deep learning and most of it is pretty much natural language processing uh, support which uh, i believe has been pretty heavily asked by the community uh, a couple of new apis uh, have been added Tats uh, text classification API and it's using this NAS BERT model uh, developed by Microsoft Research and this links out to the archive link so if you want to read that research paper it's right there so this allows uh, to do some text classification and I think some of the scenarios that uh, it gives are like detecting if a uh, email spam or not or uh, so maybe even some sentiment classification uh, and you have a sentence similarity API which uses that same model. Instead of classifying text, though, it uh, determines uh, the similarity between two different sentences. Some extra tokenizer support. And by the way, uh, I'll be doing separate videos for uh, most of these additional things here, so we can have some examples of it. And AutoML has uh, quite a bit of additional features as well, so a few APIs. Futurizer API automates part of the data preparation here. That would be really cool. Sweepable API for hyperparameter optimization. So that's going to be interesting. Search space API. So you can configure the hyperparameter search for a range of parameters. So I think Sweepable API has uh, maybe some default items that it uses and search, search space API allows you to define some stuff that it can use. Tuner API. So you define and choose which tuner to navigate the search space up here. Then experiment API which uh, builds on the Sweepable API and enables some defaults for pipeline, search space, and tuner itself. All right, a few enhancements here. Uh, Onyx uh, changes here. Some support for one unknown dimensions when uh, able to use uh, some Onyx models. Uh, support for saving the model with the, the GPU flag. So that's available if you have a GPU that you can use. And some data frame enhancements as well and i'm glad to see that they're continuing on to work on the data frame api i think it's uh given some time it's going to be a powerful thing to use uh, when doing some data prep and loading in some data and all that so thing here is a uh, date time column supports uh, which we didn't have that before improve performance of the merge operation and then create data frame from tabular data resource which may be used from some some sql values that you may get in a couple of breaking changes. The biggest one is the system that drawing dependency was removed. And that is because uh, it says here dot in, within .NET 6, that was only supported on Windows. And they want this to support Mac and Linux as well. So the ML image class has been used uh, to replace that. And then the default transformer scope has been updated uh, with this new release as well. So uh, if you're updating your previous items, the, these are a couple of things to double check all right, so that's a kind of quick rundown of the changes there. Hopefully it looks exciting and I'm excited to kind of dig into these as well and show some examples. So next time, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.